the straw art using straw and recycling you know uh, past bits of uh, smink as well and um, as we economic crisis everybody has a hard time uh, so we do as an artist most you know big impact on art supplies to you know get on our hand in the reasonable price so smink is very good uh, strong longevity and uh, you can use it again and again many times, but still very, you know, useful, functional, but also stay in beautiful results. So I use a sweet ink from, you know, recycling into our uh, creation today. So, call, uh, I use a straw, you know, every, you know, a lot of kids are playing around this, you know, straw as well. So we can have some very simple technique. Anybody who doesn't know how to paint, this is time for you to learn something from us, isn't it? It's a good idea, right? So first of all, uh, as uh, you may know, I made a sneak, and look at this, like grinding with the water, uh, simply dripping water, very simple water dripping here, and you grinding, and different you know, color tone you can get, right? Like that, very thick and nice, came out now, and ready to use it. So sneak, traditionally, we go for the, um, uh, you know, Japanese rice paper that I would mind using in, you know, different modern, you know, color. So that's all, you know, utilized. You know, you should not limit any, you know, the uh, possibility of uh, creativity. So I use all colorful. So visually beautiful. It's nice to have this kind of, you know, gradation going on. Previously made your ink, and first of all, you can drop it and drop it along the pa pages or paper. Uh, these are good line here because can you see the different layers here? I use this one and all comes different pages. Okay, you drop it, right? We see the, you may see the last week you're dropping, right? Now, how I do, there's a couple ways to do. Well, sometimes you can do with uh, your mouse, you know, just go straight for the like that. Also, you can do the uh, straw. <laughs> Anyhow, when you do that, uh, those are really come out this kind of dip different, um, beautiful gradation come out, which is, I like it. But I also, as you see it, I use all these like uh, different pages, which making different, you know, looks. So utilize this one. So let's see one by one, and different, you know, see, as you use many, it depends how many you layers on, all kinds of different. So now I'm going to use all this uh, center here. Jigujet, let's see, right? Again, when you slide in, all the color moves. So which is, I like it, I like to use it. Okay, so come this way around and switch back. Again, come this one, right? This is enough for ink. Look at this one. Amazing different pages which is making different colors, right? Gray, yellow is a nice color. So I can use this blue in the center. So play around with the paper and your you know, ink tone. It's a good idea, isn't it? I will drop the more at the other side. Drop a different side. Okay, goes around this way. All right. So now, now a little more darker color, right? Darker color. Now, uh, let's go again, blowing. And the uh, straw is, bigger is always better. Let's see how this, this straw works. Okay, now, dropping and the uh, color transfer on other side. Then move it to the other side. Okay. And then this side again. Okay, let's look at this way. Okay, good. So, one time, one, only use the ones, you can have a lot of different, you know, the image coming out of here. So, sometimes, you know, it looks like, a, you know, tree forms, and almost like a landscape look, isn't it? Very simple. You, you, you should use this kind of form and nice, you know, image. So, what I like to do is, okay, and uh, all the days, we did a lot of, when you have a thick ink, you get a lot of, you know, hard to blow. So let's use uh, 
uh, white, white color. Let me use white color, the center. Like that. Then I'm going to strip, strip forward, you know, going to here. One, two, three. Okay, now, white on black is a gorgeous color, actually. Nice. And you can just go to the this, uh, dropping, dripping different page as well. A C side, lips like that. And a green fish. A lot looks like a, a under the sea. You know, under the sea, when you like a black seaweed coming out of the bottom, simply go edit it. It's like a human body, uh, you know. It's kind of interesting, very spiritual. You can imagine it in own, you know, uh, urban city. And the kind of landscape coming out over here. All right, good. So I used this ink stain with a basic um, landscape, uh, the, you know, where the shadow looked like. Now one of like a, a urban city coming right here. It's interesting, I like it. Look at this one. Don't you think so? Is really some uh, kind of interesting abstract going on? Uh, enjoy this kind of an accident. So it's like, like a branch, you know, tree branch looks like in the back. Very interesting. And you can dream about anything in top on here. You can imagine anything you want to. Creation, it's good to leave sometimes simplicity. One line, that's it. And woohoo, this is great. All right, okay, here we go. It looks like forest, look. I added it, uh, brown pasta and a simply uh, red pasta. Just add a little more touch. You can randomly cut. I will drop the color top on here. Okay, let's uh, drop it, right? As we may use uh, the other day. And then ink, black ink. Drop it. Just bravely drop it. Float everywhere. Okay, now. Then, when you see this one, now you can take this one off. Take this one off. So you can remain the other color and move away, right? Then, tap on this one, okay, turning around, and I will use this direction. It's exciting, how exciting it is. Now, and come up th this way, okay. and then also use, okay, let me see, by the way, let me show you. I like this one, isn't it beautiful? I simply use the pasta over the wet, it's quite a very nice. 